What's up everybody and welcome back to an Idiot's Road to Glory, episode number 65 I believe we're on now. We're jumping into a game straight away against a pretty bizarre team and I wouldn't usually show you this but it is important because this is the first goals that that flashback Pato actually scored for my club. As you can see he actually works a bit of space quite well. I've started trying to use the fake shots to change direction to see the way he's doing it. it gives a little bit of a burst of speed. Tried to whip it into bail. Went just over his head, but then Paulinho got brought down in the box, and we got ourselves a penalty in the third minute. Now, whilst we take this penalty, obviously with Pato, as I'm sure you guys can guess, because he's actually going to bloody score in this game. And I wasn't actually going to take it with him at first. I was looking to change it when I realised that he was on it by default. He's actually got 98 penalties, which is pretty crazy. So we left him on it, and let him take the penalty, and like I said, he's going to score. We're going to do comments of the day, where we've actually got two of them next to each other. The two top comments, Daniel Cohen... And Gamer of 123 said, do the Danny Alves SBC, because he slots right into your squad. Otherwise, I'll be complaining like I did about Fanfran. And Gamer of said, remember the polls? Handy, they were fun days. So, we're going to have a poll. Do you think I should do the Danny Alves SBC? As Pato, nine minutes later, scores another goal. He hadn't scored in like seven games for me. And he gets two in nine minutes. Absolute ping and a half from the new god Richarlison. As he picks up the ball again. Tries to put it into Gareth Bale, but he don't quite get there. But he does nick it back. He gets down the line. He dinks it in. And Telisca, with the help of some absolutely horrific goalkeeping from this guy's goalie, puts another one in. Another three minutes later. And this guy goes and rage quits. So yeah, vote on that poll if you think we should do the Danny Alves SBC. Although, if you don't vote for what I think, I'm probably not going to agree with you guys anyway. Because I'm basically made up my mind about it. But anyway, you can see there, nine games it took Pato to score his goals. Eight games without a goal, and then in one game, in 14 minutes, he scored two. So, we're finally off the mark room. As you can see, we are doing another one of these Champions League SBCs that come out the day after the last video. This one is one where you've got to trade in, like, blue cards and stuff. So, we had the SBC yesterday for getting some blue cards, and then now you have to trade some of them in. And it gives you a Prime Gold Players Pack for it, a 45k pack, which is pretty, really decent. So, just flicking through, showing you guys that some untradeable, some tradable... So untradeable Fellaini and stuff like that. I think the Bravo was tradable. I was just on him just then. But he's worth like a couple of thousand coins and I couldn't be bothered. There's like, there's no point selling him because I just have to buy a different one back to get this team. To get the team actually done. I did end up moving out this Lucardia guy. Or Andone, sorry. Because of the fact that he is in... He's from Romania. And the new, or the most recent, it's now been and gone. And Tex won it. But in between me recording this, it was this weekend. And obviously, I've got a little bit behind with these videos. It was in Romania. And last year was the first EA Major. They did SBCs for it. So I picked up some Romania players and accidentally put them in the SBC. But anyway, let's see what we get in the pack. Do we get anything decent? 45k pack. Our last one of these packed us in for Salah. This one doesn't even get us a bot. It gets us Bartra. Cool. Yeah, like I was saying, that EA Major was in Romania. And last year for the major, for the first ones, I think for all of them actually, they did like a PSG team because it was in Paris and like a French team because it was in Paris and stuff like that. And there's like flash SBCs to pick up and do them because non-stop live content. But unfortunately, there was no live content this year. I tried to pick up some Romanians. I like picked up a load of like 400, 350 coins just in case they, been, they were needed for like an SBC that you had a day to get like a 50k pack or something. And I could flip them on. But, unfortunately, they weren't, and even though we kept that guy, we're not really going to be able to sell him for any profit, so just sell him for what we bought him for. But as you can see, we probably wouldn't have got anything doing the SBC anyway, just because that is our SBC pack. Look, wait, what did we... No, we got... What did we get? Salarin? That was an SBC pack, wasn't it? I mean, it must be. That's, like, the only packs I ever get other than my pre-old ones. Yeah, so, okay. I can't complain too much about my SBC pack, race, but... Bartra is not my guy. And, unfortunately, EA aren't my guy, and they didn't bring out that SBC using Romanians and stuff like that. It seems like they're very, very, very much on trying to shut down traders and stuff like that this year. Anyone who thinks they're ahead of the game, EA are just deliberately going to do the total opposite just to screw you over, basically. Which is, on the one hand, pretty good because it means there's not too much market manipulation and people are going crazy. But on the other hand, it's annoying because it seems like the sort of... Trying to stop you making coins any of the clever ways and basically you, you buy FIFA points or you don't have coins, which is a bit frustrating. But anyway, as you can see, this is my team at the moment and this episode is going to be about a huge 1 million coin sign. And so, the first thing we need to do, let, I was calling Richarlison a new god. Turns out he isn't actually that much of a god. Some of you guys are complaining about getting clickbaited yesterday, so 
You do got clickbait. So apologies about that. YouTube in it. Never mind. <laughs> I want to get views. We got clickbaited. But he is actually quite good. Like, you can see his record for other people. He maybe just doesn't cut it quite well enough in... Maybe it's a right centre attack. And maybe he doesn't have, like, the passing stats to be dealing with that. I'm not really too sure what it was, to be honest. If he started off really well. But then he sort of dipped down. And we end up trading him in. So, left wings. One million coins. Who could we be buying? Well, first of all, we're going to take another look at Neymar. We were trying to snipe him the other day for 690,000 coins, and we have an absolutely no joy, which is why we went up and just picked up Richarlison anyway, just to try him out. Now, he is 720, because Weekend League is a coming, and people are buying their squads, basically. So he's gone up in price a little. But we were trying to snipe him. I think he was like 700k. So he's gone up like 20,000 coins, which was kind of frustrating. But I did actually just spend a bit of time, again, trying to snipe at Neymar. So I got a little refresh on the go and I was just like taking a look at bid prices and people were bidding like 714k from getting on for like 720k he's going to be going for and stuff like that. Wasn't really any deals going on. So I popped this down to, I was torn between what way to snipe him, either by doing this way and changing the price or just doing the compare method. So I settled on having a little go with doing the compare method and seeing whether we could see one. And I was doing it for quite a while actually. And... One popped up then, but I obviously didn't buy it. And instead, what I moved over to doing was checking the price of the inform. So he's about 1.08 million coins for inform Neymar. So, we're going to try and pick him up. So I was looking, and again, I spent absolutely ages compare sniping him. And there was ones popping up on bids, but people were like, I went to bid 1.06 on that one there. Somebody else beat me to it, and I was like, you know what, we'll wait for this next one and see what he's going to go for. And then we come back and bid on that one, and we bid like 1.055, but we end up getting outbid on this. And there was just, apparently everyone in the world was trying to buy an informed name out, unfortunately, because we end up getting, like I said, outbid on this one. There was loads of them expiring, as you can see, I've got them all on my transfer list. People are weird though, like people bid more on bids than what they're actually worth if you could just go and buy it now. Like people were bidding 1.1 million for this stuff, like getting into bidding wars with each other. I'm like, bro, just go to buy now and you can just buy one for under 1.1 million. What are you doing? But people are weird anyway. And I got annoyed with trying to do the bidding method. And as I was doing a bit of comparing, one popped up for 1.05. So it's actually cheaper than what all them people were bidding on it and cheaper than what I was bidding on it as well. So I was like, do you know what? We're going to buy it. And we bought our first 1 million coin player for our squad, basically, an inform Neymar. Now, I'm going to need your help. And we're going to talk about this a lot more in tomorrow's episode. And I'm going to show you guys some potential teams because I've sold off some of my other players and stuff like that. I switched my team around a little bit. You can see he's got a ridiculous record for the people that he's been playing for. 85 games, 53 goals, 29 assists. It's very, very nice. Five-star weak foot, five-star skills, ridiculous. Ridiculous stats. My only apprehension with him is well, A, he cost a million coins, which is a lot of coins, but I'm not really bothered about that. I like trying to, I like, like I said, we're trying to have fun and try out different players, and he's really, really good fun to use. He's insanely good fun to use. He's so good at dribbling and stuff. My only thing I'm scared about is is he going to get in team of the group stages, and is that going to come out next week? Because if he does and he gets a 94 team of the group stage card, he might go down in price quite a lot. So let me know what you guys think. We've obviously used them now because it's currently Wednesday and like the weekend leagues passed and I just didn't upload videos for this weekend because I was being proper lazy and doing like Scobbler Shirt and stuff. Anyway, we're jumping into a game to test out our Neymar. I'm pretty sure this is in, this is the first game of Foot Champs this weekend. Actually, we picked up Neymar for that and we're going to go in and see how he's getting on. I've totally lost my train of thought. Do you reckon he's going to go to, do you reckon he's going to be in team of the group stage basically and do you reckon I should then sell him on and we can maybe buy his team of the group stages afterwards or Gareth Bale team of the group stage or something like that? As we start off with a red timed finesse on Pato's weak foot in the 12th minute. And I think Neymar just, as you can see as well, we're playing Pato up front. We'll come on to this more in a little bit as well. I was trying out a little bit of a different thing with my team. I think Neymar just strikes fear into my opponent's heart because I scored one goal and that was that guy was like, nah, I'm out. I'm not, I'm not playing against him from Neymar. He costs a million coins. And he just rage quit straight away at 1-0, which was a little bit crazy. We then come up against this guy who's... He's got an alright team. I mean, he's using a blue Joel Matic, which is a bit weird. He hasn't like he hasn't got a particularly good team. We out team him absolutely massively, but he's not like built something stupid. And you look at him and think, Christ, this guy hasn't got a clue. But he definitely doesn't have this man. Inform Neymar, bang, top bins. 
He's just actually sick on this game. It's ridiculous how good he is. I seen someone in Tom's chat today saying Inform Neymar or Cruyff. Inform Neymar is so much better than Baby Cruyff. It's actually mental. And in the 14th minute, after scoring with our Inform Neymar, and again, as you could see, Pato at striker. I was basically trying to get the most out of him because it took him so many games to score. He went and rage quit once again. People are just terrified of Inform Neymar, but I, it's understandable to be fair. He's very, 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 very good. But yeah, like I said, Pato up front was a bit of a weird one and Bale right cam. Basically, I wanted to have Neymar on the left to cut in on his right foot, even though he's got five star weak foot and maybe it doesn't actually really matter that much. And I wanted to basically try and get the most out of Pato. So I was thinking maybe Bale can still do a job and do really well at right central attacking mid. He can cut in and shoot on his left foot. And we'd have Pato with striker who might actually still score. As you can see, he didn't, and it kind of ruined Gareth Bale's record as well. So, in going into this game, we switched back, and we put Bale back at striker, and I think we put Neymar on the left and Pato on the right, because I was thinking Neymar's weak foot is five stars, so it's fine, you can cut him. And there's something about this game which is really, really frustrating, where even though someone's got five-star weak foot, you won't actually use it. They use Neymar in particular, because he's got the flare trait. We use the outside of his right foot instead of his... Left foot, which is just really annoying. But anyway, at this point, we were three wins and two losses in foot champs, and we just gave this guy a goal. I was playing actually really, really bad, to be honest. This was on the Friday, and again, you can see, watch, I'm going to give, I've given the ball away again. We even actually, with this one, we get a save, and we pick the ball back up. And yeah, that's a foul. He's tackled for me from behind, and the game doesn't recognize, but it's still really, really, really bad. And a decent finish from this Philippe Anderson, who we're going to talk about a little bit in tomorrow's video. And if we do end up selling Neymar, because of the imminent team of the group stage, if we think he's going to get in, we could actually pick him up because he's only like 200k. He's absolutely sick. But anyway, it was 2 0. We're having a mare. You can see Neymar's on the left as he's running through on goal on the left hand side. His dribbling is insane. I've never played with someone. And look, his Rabona crosses are better than people's normal crosses. And then this guy was a goalkeeper mover, so he smashed it into the other corner with Gareth Bale to make it 2 1. But we were just playing crap in this game. Like, I was just playing bad at this at FIFA on Friday to be honest with you like I said at this point I was three wins two losses I believe and we got back into the game by scoring a disgusting kick over the top with our goalkeeper goal but unfortunately FIFA the FIFA gods smited us down or we both got some absolute FIFA BS against us where I can score one of them stupid goalkeeper kick goals and then he scores a kickoff goal where I believe I'm pretty sure we tackle him oh we missed the tackle but then we block it and then he scores anyway. It's just FIFA. Really. So two proper FIFA goals to put him back one goal ahead, unfortunately, for us. I mean, at this point, we should be winning 2-1. That should be his only goal. I'd give him the other two goals. I was just playing crap. And then 86 minute, Neymar whips one in, and Mounier climbs highest. Him and Bale, one of them was banged in the back of the net, and it was just Mounier that did it and makes it 3 all. But unfortunately for me, again, Maybe, maybe this isn't the lack of composure as much. I tried to through ball Pato. Unfortunately, his keeper come out and got it. And then we intercept that and he just bounces back to his Felipe Anderson. Who plays it through to his Modric. Into Dembele. He does a nice little bit of work in here. Cutting back. Gives it to Felipe Anderson. Who's, it's just straight at my goalie and it finessed. I don't know what it is about this game, but... Goalkeepers have got animations in there to save rocket shots and go flying across the goal and tip it around the post. But there's just something about finesses where they just don't seem to have it programmed in to be able to save them. But anyway, that made us 3-3 three and three in foot champs, which is absolutely dreadful. I don't think I then played a game on the Saturday at all. I could be wrong. No, maybe I think I did that. Maybe I did actually. I can't remember. But anyway, this one against this guy, I managed to win. Ten after that, after just saying, right, screw it, we're not playing another game on the Friday. This is ridiculous. I'm playing absolutely terribly. We are 3-3. Three and three. I then managed to win 10 games in a row to go to 13-3. and three. And this was the game to go in to gold one at 14-3 and three with 11 in a row. Neymar is now playing on the left-hand side because I couldn't be arsed with his stupid... It's not even Neymar's fault. It's just the game, isn't it? We actually scored a really nice goal and it's actually Pato who scores as well from the other side. Cuts back with a nice finesse. Really well worked down the line by Neymar and a good finish by Pato, which was very nice to see. Having them back on the opposite side so that they should be on. And look at this from Neymar. There's players on this game that are fast, but he's just something else. Him and Nedved. Nedved's the same. There's just something about them that means they can run at like a billion miles an hour with the ball. We didn't quite score from that, unfortunately. Firmino is now playing for me at camp because Talisco is doing my head in his well. And we'll talk about all this in tomorrow's video and I'll take you guys through the 
teams gets me a corner. Neymar whips it in and Gareth Bale nods that one in for 2-0 in the first half. We were absolutely battering this guy, to be honest with you. Unfortunately, I was hoping that he'd rage quit. This was now on the Sunday evening and I just wanted to get my games finished and get into goal three. And I was hoping this guy would rage quit, but unfortunately he did manage to get a goal back. A little bit lucky. We tackled him there and it went to Fabinho. He puts it back to Salah and Salah's never missing from there. He actually subbed on. As you said, he wasn't in his team. He subbed on a Salah. He subbed on a bloody inform Salah, which is pretty crazy. I can't remember who he subbed it on for. But unfortunately for this guy, we do basically reply straight away. I'm not sure if you quite count this as a kickoff goal. Maybe it's a little bit too slow. Maybe it is still a kickoff goal, but we do take a while to actually build it up. Just possession glitching him. As Tom calls it, basically just keeping the ball over and over again and not really letting him touch the ball. Bale darts into the box, gives it to Firmino. Nice turn and a good save by his goalkeeper. So I suppose this technically isn't a kickoff goal because he's now got the ball and he's trying to go on the attack. But he was just trying to force his passes and stuff like that too much. And he was getting frustrated by the fact that we wouldn't give him the ball. Again, Bale down the line. Bale again with a fake shot. Bale again cuts it back to Firmino and this time he's not missing. And he puts it in the top bins and makes it 3-1 to myself. And then again, we were just all over him, not letting him have any space. We put it through to Gareth Bale. He's steaming for on goal. I go for the tramp, but he blocks it. So Bale's like, all right, I'll just score myself. And smashes it in the far top corner for his hat trick, I believe. And to make it 4-1. And to make this guy rage quit and give us 14-1. and one. So yeah, Neymar's absolutely ridiculous. We'll talk more about him in tomorrow's video. As you can see, I'm now playing Firmino because Talisca is a little bit clunky on the ball and since the new patch dribbling is very very OP because of the slightly less amount of AI interceptions and tackles and stuff like that and then getting toned down a little bit you can dribble a bit more so Firmino's a bit better at dribbling but there is a lot to talk about I just wanted to show you guys my new sign and I wanted to show you how we got any foot champs this week and basically just show you that Neymar's absolutely incredible and even playing at right cam we're getting a bit of joy out of Pato as well which is quite nice we've got Bale back up front he's banging in the goals We've won 4-1. We've absolutely smashed this guy, as you can see. And we were on an absolute rampage, to be honest with you. But this is where I was stopping because it was Sunday evening. I'd had enough of FIFA. Like I said in the last episode, Casey's family are visiting, but that didn't really affect it too much. I just didn't really organise myself properly with recording the squad for the show. And I've been calendar and things like that. But we're into goal three. We've got our two red picks, which is very, very nice. We've got a picture of Firmino just chilling there for us. And if we jump over to the leaderboard, we see that we've gone from th three and three. To 14 and 3, winning 11 games in a row and getting gold on with our new Neymar. So, yeah, that is where I'm going to leave this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, please do drop a like. Remember to vote on the poll about Danny Alves and let me know in the comment section what you think we should do with Neymar. Tomorrow's video, we'll be doing some live stuff. We'll have some packs to open. I'm going to show you guys some potential new teams. I'm going to show you where I've got a load of coins from and all stuff like that. So back to normal. This is this is the weekend stuff that should have gone up over the weekend, but I didn't actually upload over the weekend. So apologies for that. But it's here now. We're caught up. We've made the sixth signing. I hope you guys are still enjoying the series and I'll see you tomorrow.